Hey y'all, I Rick Scott here and within this video we're going to assemble the uh, Cubiker dresser. Now don't be expecting this to be very large and it's actually the reason I got it because it's going to be it's going to become my kind of hub for my smart home and and uh, internet. So I'll show you after I set it up but in this video I'm going to assemble it. You can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. They have a lot of other uh, similar models as well. Uh, this one is the, uh, let's see, I think it's one, two, three, I think it's the five drawer. Again, you can find it linked within this video's description, but I got it with the gray, with the gray drawer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in here. Um, I was very impressed the way they packaged the top wooden piece. It had hard plastic corners, so while it was shipping in a cardboard box, it might have better prevented that from becoming damaged. All these parts arrived in pristine condition, which is great. Uh, so step one, we're going to take, it says fix the frames A, B, and C to the top wooden board P. So we want to get, and all this is labeled A, B, and C. So here's B, here's A. I'm going to put them over here. And then we need C. There's two C's. Okay, so these are the pieces we need for this part. I'll make sure I got a good camera angle for this, man. I don't want y'all miss excitement. The excitement. Yeah, so if I'm back behind that piece, we're golden. Okay, so. My floor is clean and you know I'd recommend that because you don't want to you don't want to scratch up the top. So what we're going to do is put this piece, the only wooden piece in there, and the part with the holes, it's going to face up. So there we go. Here we go. Then Let's see, B is at one end, A is at the other. Okay, so here's A. Pay attention, there's this part right here where the drawers will go, so you need it to face inside. So see how I've got that positioned? We're going to attach this using, we're going to need a quantity of one, two, three, four, five, six. A quantity of six, number one. I like how they've got all this in one little bag. Very quality attention to detail when it comes to packaging. So there it is. It says one. And this is individually wrapped inside of that outer wrapping. So, I mean, that you'd have to be a fool, man, to, to lose this stuff. And then we're gonna, we got a hex key in here. Okay, there's a hex key. Or Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, it may mean they gave us an extra, which is nice. Again, this desk over here is a cubicle, and that desk over there off camera is a cubicle. And I've, I filmed an assembly video of both of those as well, so feel free to check it out. Once I find a brand that is good looking, that is easy to assemble, you know, I'm going to stick with it. And the price, man, I mean, these, these things are super affordable. Quality, quality instructions, quality components, and a quality appearance on a budget. So 
So I'm just using a little hex key or Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it. There's probably some dude, he's like, man, my name's Allen, man. And he's like, I created something, I'm going to call it a wrench. I'm going to call it the Allen wrench. What I like about this, and again, this piece, as well as the other Cubicor pieces that I've previously assembled and owned for a... This one I've owned for a few weeks. The other desk I've owned for several years, um, and it was my first Cubicor. It's the desk that I use for all of my live shows. But the way that they embed the components that, the, uh, that these bolts go into, it's top quality. And when these things are assembled, if this thing's as good as my other Cubicor, once, it is, once it's assembled, it'll be very sturdy. Okay, that's in there good. I can take this little A off. It's purely cosmetic, but might as well take it off. I don't need to know what it is now. Okay, so I took that off. Now we're going to put... On the opposite side, we're going to put B as in Bravo. Again, using the same kind of bolt. And I always recommend when you're doing an assem when you're assembling something like this, don't unpack. I mean, just unpack the big pieces, but leave all the screws in the bag so you know exactly what you're reaching for. And again, this ridge right here is facing towards the inside. Okay. And I don't want to over tighten these, but I want to get them tight enough to where it's sturdy. See that one I pulled out. I kind of finger tighten them to start. This would be good under like a wall-mounted TV or other type thing. Again, I'm using mine for some of my networking equipment. Okay, those are both good and tight. Now we're going to do the middle parts. Now these, they have the little ridge on each side, so... 
Uh, let's see, I'm going to take the little sticker off. It says C is in Charlie. Again, using the same type of bolt. Now this, you're going to want to make sure is, uh, is positioned properly. So, I would finger tighten the bolt. And you want to make sure this is straight, see? And it is. We're going to take the next piece, which is also C is in Charlie. I always recommend taking those little stickers off as you go and then that way you when you're done you don't have to try to get up in this thing and try to find where they all were. That's another thing, these little stickers come off without leaving any visible residue. They've done everything right, man. This is quality. And if I need, if I didn't get these perfectly straight and need to adjust them, that'll be easy to do, but I think, I think they are. And I think this is an extra, probably an extra bolt, which is nice. That they include that because sometimes you lose them and then it messes up your entire project. Okay, step two, fix the metal frame F is in Frank to the um, to the frames A, B, and C. So metal frame F is in Frank. This one doesn't have a label on it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is E. E is an echo. Okay, so the F is in Frank. I, I guess they only put F on one of them. But see, that's the same one. So I got two F is in Franks. And we're going to use the bolt that's labeled 2. So let's see. There's a lot of these. Bolt labeled 2. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to need 8 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow, that was luck. I just. Pull exactly eight out. You'll see these holes here. So these are going to go on top of here. So you're going to do, and again, we're just going to finger tighten. We're going to drop a bolt in here. Actually, let's do the ends first. Let's see they're going to go through the end, too. And again, I'm just going to finger tighten because I want to make sure all this is aligned. So you got the end there. You've also got the end of it here. And now I've, I've rotated it. There we go. And now... You can look down in there and you can see the hole. So this is where this is what it'll this is what'll line it up perfectly. Because once this goes in, all of these are gonna be lined up. And 
And again, I'm just going to finger tighten it because now I'm going to go to this back side and do that. And that makes sure every, that better ensures everything's properly aligned. Again, make sure these holes face up towards you. And again, I found that putting these end ones in first is easiest. Actually, I may do an end one and then put this here just to keep this properly aligned. Go. Okay, so now we start to tighten. Yeah, what's amazing about this Cubicor stuff is just how tight everything is once it's pieced, I mean, once it's assembled. I mean, this thing is already feeling super sturdy, and I haven't even tightened it up. They obviously put a lot of R&D research and development into these, into their products. Now we're going to do the ends. Oh, my feet, man. My feet hurt, dude. See, I don't have a floor. I mean, I got a floor, but it's just it's glorified spray paint or glorified paint. But it's really awesome. Check out my separate video where I talk about the floor that I use. I was able to install this floor on a budget. Did it myself with a paint roller. I mean, it's amazing how sturdy this is, man. Once it's tight. I mean, you can't appreciate the quality unless you fill it with your own hands. You really can't. Not only does it feel good, but I mean, everything just matches up. There's not gaps. I mean, it just looks good. It goes without saying, this is my first time assembling one of these. But like I said, I own a lot of Cubicor desks. But this is my first time assembling a dresser. And I don't know if I would truly call this a dresser because of the size. But, you know, again, for my use case, it's going to be perfect. Um, let's see, number three is D is in Delta. And we're going to use number two bolts. So D is in Delta, and then these number two. So the same type bolts we just used. We're going to use two of them. And then this right here is D is in Delta.
And this part right here is going to face up. It's going to face the sky. Wait a minute, this is a little bit different. Okay, yeah, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to put the bolt through from the bottom, and then it's going to go into this. So just kind of, again, kind of get it finger tightened. Yeah, and then you can get you get your Allen wrench. And remember everything's opposite because you're looking you're up up above it. There's the last one we were screwing, we were looking at the top of the bolt, now we're we're not. But that's easy enough to do without flipping it over. And I actually, I would encourage you to do it this way. Okay, that's good and tight. Do the same this way. Okay, so that's done. Now, we're going to get the E with the, the, uh, the number two bolts, which are the bolts we just used. So we're going to use one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these number two bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, they gave you a spare. That's awesome, man. That's attention to detail. That's attention to quality. Okay, now, E is an echo. And again, there's one hole here, so you're going to need to pay attention to that. See, it's going to go to the middle part, and then this, the bolt's going to come in on the ends. Perfect. No problems with fitment so far. Fitment. Isn't that a fun word? Again, just kind of finger tighten. Sure, everything lines up. You know, actually, I'm going to do before I tighten these. I'm going to do this other side. Okay, there we go. Oh. Again, you can see the height of this. It's, but see, I wanted it to be right around the outlet covers on the standard, you know, standard outlet cover placement on the wall. 
and I'll show you subscribe and check out my separate video where you can see this you know how I set it up they do make larger ones but again this is <laughs> when I think of a dresser I think of something that's very tall I look at this more as a media cabinet you know to put below a wall mounted TV or see the thing is nowadays though with pretty much everything being streaming and even video games being digital now you don't have all those DVD and Blu-ray cases and VHS cases and all that stuff to store so but see I've got a bunch of networking stuff like cables and dongles and all kinds of stuff I'm going to put in here Extremely sturdy. Okay. Now, okay, now number nines, which are these foot pegs? That's funny, it even comes with wall anchors. I guess that's some sort of safety feature, but man. If... <laughs> I mean, I guess this could, I mean, you'd have to be, you'd have to have something really heavy and dangerous in here, in my opinion, to make those necessary, but I'm sure there's somebody that's figured out a way to, I don't know, to, that, that just, it's good they gave me wall anchors though, because I'll use those for something else. But so for safety, they're in there if you need them. But again, if this falls over, it may it may break my toe or my foot, and that's probably about it. <laughs> I mean, it's, this is only a few feet tall. Another sticker on here. Oh, that's the only one that didn't come off. It's not going to be visible anyway. I mean, it's inside where the doors are. So I'm not going to waste my time on it. Okay, so now. Okay, I was concerned that I'd put one backwards, but it's by design. This is, okay, yeah. Okay, so, no, actually, I did mess up. And this was not obvious. So you can see these rails, they go that way. These rails, unfortunately, there's a piece there that keeps the drawer in place. So I'm going to have to, there's these tabs, oh man, this, this makes me feel stupid. So now what I'm going to have to do is flip this side post with the other side to resolve the issue because otherwise otherwise the drawers won't slide in or wait a minute let me let me look at this again
Well, I got two options. And probably the easiest option is to rotate these. See, tab, so drawer wouldn't fight, slide in, but no tab there. So what I can do is I can, yeah, this, this will be minimal rework. Um, so I can take this and rotate it. Okay, this will be easier than I thought. So pay attention to those tabs. It wasn't really clearly mentioned. Um, I bet a lot of people have done this. So in theory, if I take this one out and take this one out, I should be able to twist and address the issue. Okay, so now, yep, tabs are at the back. Now I've still got to do this one because tabs are at the front. So this is easy enough to fix. Just the same thing with this one. I'll spin it. Okay. So now we can see all the tabs are down, facing down, so this is the front. Looks nice. Like, it, like I said, you can see this is not this is not that tall, but it's exactly what I needed for my use case. Um, now we're going to do the, the uh, drawers. D5 times 10, D6 times 5. D5 and D6, so these are the handles. So we're going to take these out here. And again, it matches my cubic or desk. And that's intentional. Put this in to give it rigidity. And it actually is very rigid with that in there, nice. 
Okay, so I got that in there. And now I can attach the handle. Make sure all that's still clearly visible on this camera for y'all. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. 36 minutes into this video, and that's with rework. Okay, so... Nice wooden handles here. So basically all you do... And there's already holes in the fabric, by the way, so you'll know where it goes. Stick your, stick your bolt through and finger tighten it. Stick your bolt through and finger tighten it. Then their little Allen wrench has a screwdriver end on it too. So that's the other cool thing. I didn't have to use any tools. It just just this tool that came with it. If you got a Phillips head screwdriver though, it may be a little bit easier. I've got one here, so I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver that I've got just to save time. I mean, that tool that's included works fine, but this is just faster. That looks nice. It looks nice and feels nice. We're going to repeat this process. Now this does have a tab on it. So I bet this tab... Let's see. Actually, I put the tab side down. I don't, I don't guess it matters. I, mean, I don't plan to take these apart anyway. So. It's also nice that they... Uh, package these individually in plastic so when you grab the drawer you know that the bottom part of the drawer is the one for that size because there's different size drawers in this all these handles are the same size though so that's good That's good and sturdy, so let's see are these the top drawers, let's see. Yeah.
we go. There we have it. That is the uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, five drawer dresser. And yet again, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. As I mentioned, it comes in a variety of different colors and there's different sizes too. Um, I like this. Again, check out my separate video where I demonstrate how I use it, but it's exactly what I needed. I did a lot of research, did a lot of measuring, and uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier with the visual appearance, the ease of assembly, as you just saw. Again, pay attention to those tabs, make sure you got them all in the, in the same direction, because otherwise you won't be able to slide your drawers in. So, if you've seen some people that have used that have that use this and their drawers don't look right it's probably because they left those tabs in the wrong direction see all of these line up looks good okay well thank y'all and uh, again subscribe ring that bell icon to be notified whenever i post another video and if you found this video to be very helpful feel free to super thanks you can find the thanks link directly below this video again not required but appreciate it if you want to, you know, shoot me a little, a little tip for, uh, for taking the time to perform an assembly video and share with the world. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.